Hi all, I'm Andrew Robertson. I'm a PhD candidate at Georgia Tech studying evolutionary biology through the lens of ants, and this is my sci journey. And right away I can tell you that fire ants are giving Florida harvester ants a really hard time. But I didn't arrive at this conclusion by following a single stepwise pattern that you might have heard about. In fact, most science doesn't really happen this way. My sci journey began during my master's program at Southeastern Louisiana University. I wanted to do a project focusing on the Florida harvester ant, but everywhere I looked, they couldn't be found. So my first question was, where are the harvester ants? I reached out to some local museums, and they suggested that the fire ants might actually be responsible for the disappearing harvesters. They also pointed me in the direction of some places I could check to go find them. Then I spent the next few weeks looking around at different places that I might find the harvesters, and when I didn't find them, I had to go back to the drawing board, until eventually I did find a habitat with both harvester ants and fire ants. Now that I had a study site, I was ready to test my two main hypotheses. First, that fire ants are competing with the harvester ants to get after insect food, which they both like. Second, harvester ants also like to eat a lot of seeds, so maybe they're avoiding this competition by switching to a mostly seed-based diet when fire ants are around. After removing fire ants from about half the site, we offered both seeds and insects to the harvester ants from four different distances ranging from their nests, and we recorded these data for about a year. If we remove fire ants, do harvester ants eat more? Do they change their diet? And do they go as far in search of food? There were a lot of steps of both analysis and interpretation before we could finally make sense of these results. And here's what we found. Just as we predicted, when we removed fire ants, the harvester ants ate more insect food. But the strange thing is they also ate more seed food. We didn't really expect that, since they shouldn't be competing. Harvester ants, after all, are the main seed eaters between the two of them. Due to travel restrictions from COVID, I wasn't able to share this at conferences. However, we were still able to publish, and since then, I've been attending lots of conferences to share all the neat things you can learn from these amazing little animals. Finally, I'd like to point out that my side journey matters because the crucial funding that comes through the federal government in the form of NSF grants is under attack. I was able to use these funds not just for this project, but also to train the next generation of doctors, dentists, biologists, and other specialists during their undergraduate career. I also showcased what invasive species can do even decades after their introduction. And finally, we should know what's going on in our own forests. And that is why my sci journey matters.